paying your affiliates. Um, one of the most exciting things I get to do every month, honestly. Um, I like paying my affiliates. I like, um, especially new affiliates, I like to get payments out to newer affiliates who've joined our, our program. Let them know um, we are serious about our affiliate program, that we do pay on time, um, that they're, you know, start to build a, a, a certain level of trust. Um, and hope that they continue marketing for us. You know, I mean, that's really what it's all about. You get these affiliates um, paid on time every month and they realize, um, you know, being a, uh, an affiliate for your company, um, they're going to they're gonna work hard for you, knowing that they're going to get paid. So um, let's jump into it. Let's get some affiliates paid here. So what you want to do is on your left list here, and as far as affiliate payment goes, by the way, it's whenever you want. Um, there is nothing going to remind you to pay your affiliates. There's no email going to go off. There's no nothing automated about the affiliate payment process. It's a, it's it's um, it's a manual process. I personally like to do it once a month, the first of the month. You can pay your affiliates once a week if you want, um, bi monthly, monthly. However, you want to pay your affiliates, totally up to you. When you're ready to make your affiliate payment, just simply log into your uh, admin center here and click on Pay Affiliates. You'll notice we've got a couple different options. We're going to cover them all. You've got an individual payment and you've got a, ma a PayPal mass payment. Um, I'm going to start left to right here and jump right in. So your standard method of individual. You'll notice I've now got myself a list of all of my affiliates who need paid and for how much. You'll notice I've got three, four, five, six total commissions going to a total of four affiliates. So my six commissions, I can see them right here. They're currently approved six, right? So if I take a look at them, I've got, here's my uh, one account that's totaling 300, uh, 100, 100, 100. Then you've got 90, one and 10. If I pay my affiliates again, here it is, 391 and 10. So you understand these numbers are gonna match here because these are, are currently approved um, commissions. Once we pay them, they're gonna come out of this list um, and over into the archives, which you'll find up here in the reports section um, in your affiliate payout. So a um, couple things to talk about here. Notice up here it says current minimum payout balance, none. Um, what the minimum payout balance is, and it's optional to use, is you can set um, an amount that an account needs to get to before becoming um, due and payable. Um, so assume let's we can do it um just click on adjust payout balance requirement here or you can actually go to your system settings general settings and then general settings tabs tab here let's set it to a hundred dollars and see what happens so if we change our minimum balance requirement to a hundred dollars and i go to pay affiliates you'll notice some of them came off um, and only the account that's actually meeting the hundred dollars or above obviously is going to show up on the list the other accounts are going to do exactly what this says here. They're going to roll over from month to month. It tells us we've got some affiliates that haven't met our minimum payout balance requirement. Why would you use a minimum payout balance requirement? Um, one example, take us for example, we have a $100 minimum payout balance requirement in our affiliate program. Um, and the reason is we would like our affiliates to generate at least um, three commissions before becoming due and payable. So where'd we get the $100 from? We happen to know our average commission amount in our affiliate program is $35. That being said, if we set it to $100, we would like them to earn, um, create, generate at least three commissions, um, which is going to average probably more than $100 based on um, the history of our affiliate program. We know that. And these are figures uh, and numbers that you'll um, learn as you go as well. You can probably do some preliminary math and, and sort of figure out how much of my affiliates going to be earning if you want to use the minimum payout balance requirement. Um, you know, again, a, a good rule of thumb is maybe uh, anywhere between two and five sales um, before becoming due and payable. So set it accordingly. Now, obviously, you don't have to use it at all either if you don't want to. Um, for instance, if, if I actually jack this up real high and say... I need $500 before you become due and payable. I hit my pay affiliates. I have nobody here because nobody's met that $500 yet. And again, the accounts are going to roll over from month to month to month to month until met. So you may get an affiliate saying, hey, how come I haven't been paid? Well, the reason is because you have, haven't met the um, minimum payout balance requirement. Um, so 
for our illustrative purposes here, we're gonna I'm gonna actually remove it completely. Go back to pay affiliates. We've now got all of our accounts that are doing payable because we don't have a minimum payout. Um, so one by one, just go to the um, payment from here. This is the uh, affiliate information. We can print an invoice. We can do a PDF invoice if we want um, to either store for our records, send to our affiliate. Um, the tab up here, commissions in this payment, if you click on that tab, it's gonna show you all the commissions that are in this particular payment. Remember, it's $300 for a total of $300. So it'll show you the actual commissions. Um, custom fields, if you're using custom form fields that you have your affiliates sign up, uh, fill out when they sign up, um, additional information, um, optional information that you've created for them, if you've chosen to show this on the affiliate payment, this is where it'll uh, appear. So going back to our payment information, this particular affiliate wants to be paid by PayPal. So the first thing that we're gonna do here is we're gonna click on make PayPal payment. You'll notice this is actually going to take us to the PayPal website where we can then um, log in and continue to make the payment just like normal. Once payment is made, you wanna um, do step number two here and it's incredibly important you do this. You have to click the archive this payment button. If you don't, IDEV affiliate will never know these commissions were paid. You've now made the payment to the affiliate, yet the account still says um, you've got due and payable commissions. Now, complicate this with next month when there's even more commissions added in. Now you have to figure out which commissions were paid last month and which are still due, et cetera. It's gonna become a nightmare if you don't hit this archive. So this is the most important. Again, we should probably make this actually red. Um, the button itself make it red because it's so important if you don't you, you've got to click that once the payment goes off so um that's it for individual um payout um the only other option you've got in that section is um date range um again i'll just pick a the complete range but you'll notice we now have a date range here so it's only going to give us commissions within the date range um chosen um so if understand how this works the date range is based off the date the commission was generated not the date the commission was approved so if the commission was created january 15th and you didn't approve it until february 15th and you're the date range that you're picking um is you know february 1st it's not you're not going to get that one particular commission that I'm talking about in this list because it was created back in January, even though it wasn't approved until February. So know how the date range works there. Um, when you do pick a date range, of course, you're only going to get commissions um, within the date range. And again, commissions, the, the date is based on the date it was uh, created. Um, so again, we're in date range. Um, this happens to be, I happen to know, before we started the video, I happen to know this is a tier commission. So if you go to uh, commissions in this payment, you'll see that it's uh, the commission type is a tier commission. This could read um, standard commission, tier commission, override commission, recurring commission. There's a couple different states this could read, some, a couple different types. Um, and you'll see a mixture of them in, in here if you're using tiers and overrides. Um, so that's basically it for individual payment. Moving on to PayPal mass payment, if we go to our standard method, you'll notice the first thing we read here, it says only affiliates with a PayPal account appear in this list. And the reason is because this is a PayPal payment, right? So when you enabled, um, we can go to it, when, you, when we enabled our, our PayPal payments, we made a decision. Do we want to require a PayPal account? Yes or no? If we pick yes, every account in your affiliate program will have a PayPal account on it. Um, if we pick no, only some might. You know, some may have chosen yes, pay me through PayPal. Others say no, don't pay me through PayPal. So only the accounts that actually have a PayPal account added to their affiliate account will show up here. Um, and if you have some that aren't, it'll actually even show you. And we do, we do have some that aren't because remember we had four affiliates that were doing payable. We only have two in this list now because these are the only two that actually have a PayPal account. If I go and view the account record and I go to commission and payment, it says yes, uh, pay with PayPal. And here's the uh, PayPal account, uh, which is not real by the way. Um, so 
The other two accounts aren't showing up there because they're not, they don't have a PayPal account. And it even says you have affiliates due, due for payment. They do not have a PayPal account out of their account. These affiliates will need paid using the individual affiliate payment. So once you've completed this um, mass pay, you still are going to need to come back over here and go into your standard method. You're now going to see the, the, the remaining two accounts that you'll need to pay individually. Um, because again, again, they can't be part of the PayPal mass payment if they don't have a PayPal account on their account. So um, continue on here. You've got your list of accounts that need paid um, and for how much. Um, the first step is to download the payment file. This is a file you'll download to your local computer. And then it's going to give you the instructions. You're going to log into your PayPal account and it's going to tell you step by step where to go and how to complete that um, mass pay. Once you've made the mass pay over in PayPal, again, this button is red. Um, so uh, we, should, we need to make the other button red. I, I even mentioned that. Um, so once the payment's been made in PayPal, come back over here, archive the payments, click this button. You're now letting IDEV Affiliate know these payments have been made. Move them out of currently approved over to um, the uh, paid list or the archive, just like we did before. Um, so there's your mass pay and again date range is exactly the same um, pick a date range and it's only going to give you a mass pay here um, commissions within the date range um, for your mass pay 